Good morning. Welcome to another session of Think Out Designs. Because we sell a lot of rubber stamps, I thought it might be fun to show you how to mount the stamps um, onto some ease mount. So I've picked some stamps I'm going to, to mount. This one's Inky Friends with butterflies, moths and bees. I've taken the rubber out and this is what you've got, the rubber sheet. And we've got our ease mount. What we're going to do first is cut out. I'll just demo with a couple of stamps. Just to give you the idea, you very carefully cut the rubber. And the reason I cut the images out is because um, I don't want to waste a lot of ease mount with rubber that's not necessary. So I can save myself the ease mount and use it on another day. So there I have the butterfly cut out. All I do. There's a sticky side, a non-sticky side. On the sticky side, I put the butterfly down with the image up. And then you simply, I like to just cut that section out like that. Now, with this part of it, what you can do, if you're worried about, because that's super sticky, super, super sticky. See how sticky that is? If you don't want all that stick getting onto your scissors, all you do is put a bit of talcum powder onto your backing, like that. Rub it around the outside. Any that gets onto the stamp itself can be washed off later. So don't stress about it getting onto the stamp. A bit of talcum powder isn't going to hurt it. But what happens is, you can then cut without it sticking to the scissors. So the, stick is, uh, the scissors stay quite clean. And you go around and around and around the outside of the image. I'm not being too fussy at this stage. Just like that. Out of the way. Okay, so when you've got your rubber stamp roughly cut out, the idea is to cut in as close as you can to the image. So to do that, you've got to have your scissors so the blades are on top of each other, like that. Just angle that so that when you cut down, they're cutting straight up and down. If you cut at an angle like that, I can end up with an undercut on the rubber and then you might not get a good impression. So cut like that, pull the way. Um, like that, like that, pull the way. And then just work your way around. You can go around in a curve or you can go around in straight lines. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, the only thing you need to be careful of is the angle of your scissors and that the blades are straight up and down. I'll just clear all those away. And there you have your cut out image. All you need to do then is peel the backing off like that. Put it on to a block like that, an acrylic block. And then I'll just grab a bit of card and show you. With some archival ink. Get up well, hold it down firmly, a good 10 seconds at least, because that allows for the ink to transfer onto the card. Lift and lift. And there you have your lovely stamped image. I hope that was nice and easy and gave you a little bit of confidence in 
mounting the rubber stamps. Thank you for watching.